I want to look at the Sensibo Sky. This is cool because we think about smart devices. We think mm -hmm. about the ability to, you know, I have a Nest thermostat at my house. So right. that means I save money by running a thermostat that intelligently figures out when I'm home, turns off the AC or the heat at that time. Mm -hmm. And then when I get home, it turns it back on. Or if I'm, if I'm making the trip home, if I'm leaving work and I know that the house is a little bit cold because I can bring up the app, I can turn on the heat from my app. And right. then by the time I get home, it's nice and cozy. So Sensibo Sky takes it kind of to another level because of course, um, Nest and smart thermostats like Nest, um, they require a hardwired central air conditioning unit, furnace, those kinds of things. It's a hardwired right. connection. Sensibo is completely different. You want to know? <laughs> How it, is it completely okay. different? So you picture a, an AC unit that's in your window or right. um, like a, uh, you know, if you've got a, uh, a heat exchanger, you know, there are all kinds of devices that you might use. Um, but I think in particular of, you know, the wall hanging um, uh, AC units, not central air, but AC units that use a right. remote control. Yeah. Right? You use a remote control to adjust the temperature. Mm -hmm. uh, um, my AC back in the apartment before we got central air at the house, um, it had, had a remote control. It was just in the window. Right. It was a great little unit, but you had to be home to adjust it. And there was no s intelligence to it whatsoever. So what Sensibo does is it's an app-connected device through your Wi-Fi, and it then allows you to control your AC unit that has infrared remote control technology. You can control it from your app. Okay. Okay, so you think about an AC unit that has a remote control. As long as it has an infrared remote control, Sensibo Sky is going to be able to control it. So let's get into the box and actually get a look at what this, uh, what this device looks like. So here we are. This is the box for Sensibo Sky. And nice little device. Let's just get right into it. It's, it's so super simple. I mean, here's our step-by-step -step instructions. Download and install the app. Follow the instructions in the app, enjoy, and keep cool. Those are your instructions. What? Simple, simple. So there it is. That's the Sem Sensibo Sky. Um, as you can see, let's get some of this wrapper off of here. There we go. I'll just stick that over there. And we've got a little bit of a kind of a like a double-sided tape kind of thing going on over here so I can just stick it to the wall. It's also got a, a mount that I can screw it into the wall. Um, and then here we've got uh, USB micro input and what looks like some kind of a data port. I'm not, uh, I'm not sure on that one. It almost seems like it's maybe a connection for a uh, connected furnace or something. I don't know what that is. We'll look it up. You can look that up as well. I don't think that that's going to affect our use of it today. It might be for firmware updates and things like that as well. Further in the box, how simple is that? Now, it is, Sensible oh. Sky is powered by USB micro. As I mentioned there, it's got just the USB micro jack. So it comes with a, what looks like a good long USB micro cable. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. There we go. Good length on that. <laughs> anyway, so... Because it's USB micro, it, it's going to work anywhere in the world. We don't need to have any fancy adapters. We don't need to have any anything that's you know extra special to work overseas or anything like that. Now, it came with a, a little power brick here so that I can plug that in as well. The brick that it came with is um, it's one amp. So it doesn't need a lot of power. Most of the uh, bricks that you already have are going to have 2.4 amps or even higher. Um, so this is, you know, this can be powered by basically any um, any little USB power cable that you have. So I'm just going to simply plug this in like the instructions say. So I'm just going to plug in the USB, and we'll see what happens here. If I can do this kind of blindly, there we go. And now the Sensibo logo is. Just kind of flashing blue there on occasion. So I'll just kind of set that down there. Now, I've got this really cool thing on my phone called Miracast, and it allows me to, in fact, bring up my phone on okay. the screen for you. So I can actually do that. So how cool is that? So let's bring up the Sensibo app. There we are. And back here. So the first thing that I need to do is select the uh, Sensibo Sky. That's the device that I've purchased. And it says connect your Sensibo Sky device to the power outlet, which I've done, um, and then hit next. 
Now it says find the QR code located on the back of your Sensible Sky device and click next. Okay, so on the back of my device, sure enough, there it is. It's itty bitty. Is my camera going to be able to read that? Let's see. Okay, so now I can see the camera there. Let's see. Oh, it's choppy, but let's see. Oh, it actually did it. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Choose an icon and name the AC. Okay, so I, I, I'm going to say this is, uh, can we call this living room? Okay. We're, just, we're basically pretending because we don't have an AC unit here at the studio that we can use with this. So we're going to say living room next. And I'm, I've left it as the default. Uh, device allow Sensibo to allow this uh, to access this device's location. All right. Uh, in order to complete the setup, Sensibo needs to get right settings permission. The permission is needed to check Wi-Fi. Um, and uh, after setup is complete, you may disable this permission in Settings, Apps, Configure Settings, Modify System Settings. So, right settings permission. Okay, we're going to enable that. We're going to trust that this is all good because Sensibo is a legit company. And what do we got here? Modify system settings. Does it just let me... Why is it taking me to other apps? Hmm. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go back to Sensibo. Do we see it? Ah, oh, there we go. Living room. There we go. Okay, so now I don't have an AC unit... Um, connected to this, as I mentioned. But you can see up at the top right-hand side of the app there, do you see that on your screen at the left? Uh, we've got um, humidity levels. We've got a uh, temperature gauge as well. And what's neat about Sensibo is it allows us to um, actually control our um, AC unit, not only the on-off state of the air conditioner, if it's got um, a wireless remote, it's going to be able to control it, but it also allows us to control the fan um, setting, and it allows us to do that from anywhere in the world, because the app is connecting to the internet, and the internet is then communicating back with our Sensibo device, and that is, um, is controlled by this app. So, Cool. What does it say? Okay, so please observe the indication LED of this device. Count the number of blinks. Okay. One. 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 Okay. In order to complete the set setup, okay, I did that. Oh, maybe, oh, that's why it took me here? It wants me to turn on. Oh, it needs the right permission. Okay. It allows the app to read or write system settings. It needs to read those Wi-Fi settings. So this is kind of interesting, Sasha, because what mm -hmm. I'm reading that it's actually doing here right. is it's making it so I don't have to program the Sensibo with my Wi-Fi settings. It's going to glean those oh, from okay. my phone settings. So now that I've got that set up here, let's go back to the Sensibo app. I've turned on the access. Let's see what it does differently. Could not find Sensibo device. Make sure your GPS is turned on, your phone location settings. Oh, and I've learned I've lost my Miracast. Sorry, I'll just reconnect there for you. So this is just kind of the initial setup that you're going to go through. It is pretty, you know, as you see, it's pretty straightforward. It's telling me what I need to do. Um, let's retry, see if it gives me a connection this time. Searching for your Sensibo device. And looks like it, uh, okay, to connect your smart AC to the internet, please select. So, okay, so Sensibo is now detecting all the different Wi-Fi networks. And my <laughs> apparently when it does that, it knocks off Miracast. So that's why I lose the connection there. I'm going to try to bring up the, uh, the screen here again for you. There we go. So it's detected all the local uh, Wi-Fi hotspots. I'm going to tell it which one is mine. And then right. I need to tell Sensibo, okay, what is my password? So I'm just going to enter that here. Mm -hmm. I have a really strong password, so bear with me here, folks. I have possibly a... It's, I, I, it's a simple kind of question. Password, one, two, three. No. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Um, how does that connect to your actual Wi-Fi? Or not your Wi-Fi. How, how does it connect the AC? to your AC? That's what's cool. So you think about your AC unit that has a wireless remote control. Right. It's infrared. So as I control Sensibo with my phone, with the app, 
I'm actually triggering a wireless remote control signal, infrared, from Sensibo. So Okay, so then it's it's not like Sensibo's talking to the remote, it's talking to the AC. Sensibo correct. becomes the remote. You could have lost remote. your remote completely. Sensibo Sens- is the remote, absolutely, that's oh, correct. Okay, so it's, I got it. So you that's it? how it's communicating. I think yes. I've got it, yeah. All right, <laughs> cool. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a go again here. What kind of blinks have we got? One, one, okay. Maybe I entered my password incorrectly. Let's try again to connect. Here we go. I'm going to try one last time, Let's folks. See. Never a good idea to talk and type your password oh, at the same time. That was all me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's me. Configuring. Oh, starting AC Wi-Fi connection. And I've lost Miracast, but I'll fire that back up for you. There we go. Waiting for Sensibo. Oh, and I lost Miracast. Apologies. Let's bring that back up. Oh, I see what's happening here, Sasha. What's it's that? connecting direct. My phone is connecting directly to Sensibo. It says to use Miracast, oh, okay. disconnect the other Wi Fi direct connection. Ah, that's why. Okay, so I can't really use Miracast uh, at the same time that we're doing this. So it's trying, it wants to connect through a Wi-Fi connection. It's almost acting like a hotspot. Mm-hmm. So that's kind of cool. Okay, so now Sensibo is connecting to my Wi-Fi network. Right. I can't bring it up on the screen because as soon as I do, I'm connecting to my Wi-Fi network and then I lose access to the Sensibo. Mm-hmm. That's interesting. So essentially, that's all there, there is to the setup. So you see that this is flashing away. It's, it's getting the configuration and it's connecting to the network. This is now your wireless remote. So through your, um, through your internet connection, through the app, you're able to control your AC unit. All right. So yeah. then is there also like benefits as far as like if you were to leave the house, like the, the phone app, does it know that you're leaving? Yeah, that's what's kind of neat too, because Nest does that. Nest knows that, right. hey, if I've left the house, as I mentioned, mm-hmm. it starts saving me some energy because it's, uh, it knows that I've gone. So Sensible right. does the same thing. Once my app, uh, once my phone has left the Wi-Fi network, it knows that I'm no longer there and it, uh, and it acts accordingly. So I can program it to say, hey, let's turn off the AC unit at that time. I feel like they need one of those for my hair straightener. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a neat idea. I think, yeah, definitely as a safety precaution. That's right. um, so, of course, you know, setting up something like Sensibo here live on the TV show is a little bit tricky. And um, as it goes through the connection settings and, and I'm trying to show it on the screen at the same time, I've probably monkeyed up a couple things. The setup itself is very easy breezy. Mm-hmm. As you can see, you know, the steps are well defined uh, in the app. It shows you everything and it's stable and uh, it tends to work very, very well. So, Give it a look. Head on over to cap5.tv slash sensibo and you'll be able to pick one of these up. Great gift for, uh, for under the tree this year. And uh, certainly, you know, if you know somebody who has or if you have a, um, an AC unit in your window uh, or in the house that uh, is controlled by an infrared uh, controller, then this is definitely something that will uh, be a benefit to you. I love that it turns it into a smart device. It saves us energy, and it makes it so that I can control it from anywhere, no matter where I am. That's perfect. There you have it. That's Sensibo. I apologize that I did have, you know, I'm I'm waiting on a couple connection things, but that's that's what it is on live TV. But um, check it out, cat5.tv slash Sensibo.